Hi everybody, I'm Lindsay Greasover from Marietta, Georgia, where I teach sixth grade ELA. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Flipgrid and how to use it. Flipgrid is a video response pl platform where educators can have online video discussions with their students or other teachers. Teachers can provide feedback to their students once they have posted their Flipgrid response and students can also give feedback to one another. It's also great for students who aren't always willing to speak in front of each other because with Flipgrid, they can record themselves without everyone watching. So it gives the more shyer students um, a voice. There are endless opportunities really to take advantage of with Flipgrid in the classroom. So to sign up, you just go to flipgrid.com and you click the sign up for free option. And then you fill in your basic information. Um, you can choose between the free or the paid option. For the free option, you get one grid and unlimited topics. With the paid option, you can have unlimited grids and topics. And then um, I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to go to my page. This is what will come up once you're logged in, and it will show you all of your grids. These are my different grids. And within each grid, you have topics. So I'm going to click on ELA and show you a couple of the topics that I've done so far. Um, the first one is our article of the week where they responded to something that they were passionate about. And then the skills lab 1B was a grammar review lesson that we did with the HyperDoc and the um, Flipgrid was part of the HyperDoc lesson. So um, once you click on the topic, you can see all of your students and their responses. And then if you click on one of their names, you can um, choose to respond back or provide feedback. And that's what that looks like. You can also choose like to, to um, pick one of these little emojis, um, whatever. It's kind of fun, a fun way to the kids like that, to see that you clicked on an emoji that you like theirs or found it, found it um, exciting or depending on whichever emoji you choose. So to click or create a new topic, you just click this blue new topic box, and then you're going to fill in the required information, your title, the date you would like it to display, how long you would like them to speak for, um, whether or not you want your, the responses to be moderated, which means the grid owner or you must approve responses before they're live, before other students can see it. I like to have that one on because just in case you never know what, what one of your students may say and you just want to be safe, then you um, have the topic description or question. This is what you want them to respond to. Um, you choose whether or not you want it to be active, frozen, or inactive, and when you want to launch it, and when you want it to no longer be visible. You can also choose um, to use the following resources as um, a way to um, add to the lesson or to the, to the topic that you're discussing. You can record your own video, upload a video, add a video from YouTube or Vimeo, upload an image, a jiffy, or an emoji, um, add a website, the title, um, allow students to reply to a response, um, choose from different stickers and drawings, and whether or not you want it to be public, private, or neither. And then you would click create topic. It is very easy. The kids enjoy it so much. And I was so excited about it that I even did a blog post about this. Um, and shared how to set Flipgrid up in your classroom and different ways that you can use it. This is a couple examples from my students. And then um, these are just 10 ideas for how you can get started, what you can, what you can use Flipgrid for in your classroom, such as book recommendations, formative assessments, exit tickets, student and teacher introductions. I use this at the beginning of the year to introduce myself to my students. Um, for HyperDoc activities, um, discuss the turning point or climax of a story or event, connect with other Flipgrid users. It's, I think it would be so neat to connect with another classroom. Um, 
even in a different country. That would be a, a neat idea that the kids would enjoy to watch and respond to a YouTube video or a video that you create um, for argu argumentative writing. They could um, state their claim and discuss evidence that they're going to use to support their claim. And of course, for oral reading responses. So the options are just endless. Um, and I hope that you have enjoyed this and will have a, um, a fun time getting used to Flipgrid in your classroom. And I hope your kids love it. Thanks so much.